again, it is I, Derek from Tomcat Gas Training, and welcome to another video on ACS revision in less than 10 minutes, hopefully. This time we're looking at sizing these things. It's a gas meter. But before we get into sizing this gas meter, please could you take some time to subscribe, help the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you when we're uploading videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. Anyway, let's stop waffling and let's get on with it and let's find out how to size a gas meter in less than 10 minutes. Hopefully. Now, why can't we just get our net kilowatts of our appliances, add them together and times it by 0 0.095 which will turn our net kilowatts into meters cubed an hour and then just take that figure and if it's lower than 6 meters cubed an hour we can use a U6 meter. Or if it's greater than 6 meters cubed an hour we can use a U16 meter. It's as simple as that. Well actually they say we use a diversity factor for doing this because they reckon it's very rare that all the gas appliances will be on at the same time so the gas meter doesn't have to be able to cope with all of it, we actually use an anticipated demand. So this diversity factor will take into account of that. So say for a cooker, we don't use one, because if we used one, that would be all the kilowatts. We use 0 0.4, it's about 40% of the appliance they reckon would be used at one time. So, I think I definitely have done enough waffling now. So let's get on with it and find out exactly what this diversity factor is and how we're going to size a gas meter correctly. Now, you might recognize this drawing from when we did the pipe sizing. So if you haven't seen our video on pipe sizing, why not? Anyway, so get have a look at the pipe sizing video. But you can see when we did the pipe sizing, we had a G4 meter, which gives us six meters cubed an hour. But our total load for all the boil uh, for the boiler, the cooker, the two fires comes to 6.65 meters cubed an hour. But this gas meter can only give us six meters cubed an hour. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at how we're going to size a gas meter and see whether this meter is allowed on this installation or not. So let's get on with that. Now, sizing a gas meter is pretty straightforward. There's only three steps to do. So the first one we need to do is determine the heat input rating of each individual appliance in kilowatts and apply the relevant diversity factor. So this is a chart showing our diversity factors. So first we've got a central heating appliance, not combi boilers. So we would do it by one. If it's a unit heater, we would do it by one. And if it's a circulator, we would do it by one. If we've got a combi boiler, we do it by 0.8. Instantaneous water heater, 0.8. Sink water heaters, 0.6. Room heaters, 0.6. Tumble dryers, 0.6. Hot plates, 0.6. Ovens, 0.6. But cookers, we do 0.4. Hmm. Never, never really get that, but there you go. And refrigerators, because it's basically a pilot light, we do it by zero. So what we mean is we take the boiler from our pipe sizing exercise, we, which was 30 kilowatts, we times that by the diversity factor, which was one, so it comes out at 30 kilowatts. We take our cooker, our range cooker, which was 24 kilowatts on our pipe sizing exercise. So cooker, 0.4, we times it by the diversity factor, gives us 9.6 kilowatts. Our inset live fuel effect fire, 6 kilowatts. So 6 times 0 0.6 gives us 3.6. And our DFE, again, because it is a room heater, time it by 0 0.6. So 10 times 0 0.6 is 6 kilowatts. So if we add those together, it gives us a diversity factor of 49.2 kilowatts. Now what we've got to do in step two is add up the total gas load requirements for all the appliances and then we need to convert the total kilowatt figure into megajoules. So this is what we've got here. This is our total load which was 49.2 kilowatts. 
So we need to do 49.2 and then we need to times it by 3.6. And the reason why we times it by 3.6 is there are 3.6 megajoules in a kilowatt, which 49.2 times 3.6 is 177.12 megajoules. Now, part three, it says, divide the total number of megajoules by the carolific value of natural gas. And at the moment, our carolific value of natural gas is 38.76. So this will determine the equivalent gas flow rate in meters cubed an hour, and will ultimately determine the size of the meter we're gonna require. So if we take our 177.12 megajoules, and we divide by 38.76, it gives us 4.56 meters cubed an hour. Now, the next thing we need to do is look at this chart. So this chart shows us we've got U6, E6, G4, G10, U16. So they're the meters we can work on as a domestic engineer. And you can see it gives us six meters cubed an hour or 60 meters cubed an hour or 212 cubic feet an hour, or 565. Now we take the meters cubed we've just got, look down this here, see where we come into, and we're less than six meters cubed an hour, so we can use a U6, E6, or a G4 meter. Now a lot of you guys are always out there looking for a cheat, because that's how you like to roll. So if you do want to cheat, we can do 38.76 divided by 3.6 gives us a figure of 10.76. So instead of doing this calculation here, if we take our 49.2 divided by 10.76, it gives us 4.57 meters cubed an hour. It's just slightly different than that one, but there you go. Who's going to argue over 0 0.01? And then we can still get a U6, E6 or a G4 gas meter. So that's how easy it is to uh, size a gas meter, but you will need our good old diversity factor chart to be able to do this. Well, smashed that one out of the park and did it well within 10 minutes. So if you've liked this video, why don't you give it that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you're not subscribed to our channel, then why not? But please subscribe, because it helps. And again, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you want YouTube to tell you we're uploading videos on, yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and if you want me to do any more of these videos, please get it in the comments section below. Catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.